Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Black Phone Ethan Hawke just doing some greatness. We've recently seen Ethan Hawke in the uh, uh, Moon Knight series on Disney Plus where he was playing a David Koresh type character. But man, he steps into a serial killer of young boys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But let's not jump ahead, guys. This movie is brought to you by Universal Studio. Blumhouse, they just announced that this is going to be a double haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights along with Blumhouse's other movie, Freaky. I have to say that I was blown away by how good and how this takes it this takes you back to the slasher days that i love so very much the only knock that i could possibly give this movie is that i wanted to see the kids deaths and we unfortunately did not get to see those in this movie i do have to give a couple of shout uh to mason themes Thieves? Thieves? Oh, plays Finny. This kid had a great character arc going from a pussy to the hero of the story brilliantly with the backing of the dead children. Oh my goodness. Uh, Madeline McGraw, who plays Gwen, his sister, was absolutely phenomenal. There's a scene where she just cracks this kid who's beating up on Finney in the head with a rock and like just blood's gushing out of this kid's head. I, I don't, I don't know. It's a weird scene, but it's awesomely a weird movie. Ethan Hawke plays the grabber. Uh, he's a, he's a magician. He's a, a man fixated. Definitely could tell he has some mental breaks. His masks determine his moods or maybe the other voices in his head. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. I, I have to say, I really like this character and I would like to see more in this world i really would i really would uh i would like to give a sh uh just a little shout out to uh Jer jeremy davis uh this dude has been around in movies forever he is the one of the coolest character actors ever this man needs like to like he i think he played I think he played Manson in a movie once. Like, this guy's amazing. He plays an alcoholic dad uh, just trying to deal and his demons are beating him. What else can I say about this movie? This was a brilliant, brilliant flick. The, 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 the story of the kids being taken, calling Finney on the phone and telling him telling him how how they tried to get out and their past didn't work and this this isn't about and it's really cool because this isn't about Finney it's not about Finney it's about all the kids needing to find their bodies and all this stuff and the closure to that and everything else and the uh, the world that they are currently in, uh, it's, they don't really go into what it is, but they, they say once you're there for long enough, you forget who you are. So Finney has to remind them who they are and discover who the, he's talking to. And it's just brilliant. Uh, I, I, I really love this damn movie. Uh, I, I love Ethan Hawke's performance. Um, Mason was amazing. 
Madeline, she was crazy cool kid. I, those two, I definitely can't wait to see what they do in the future. I hope they stick to acting and keep going. Blumhouse knocked it out of the park with this flick. Where does it lie on our five-star movie review? Guys, this is a four-star banger of a horror film. Guys, if you don't love this movie, you're not a horror fan. This is brilliant at its best making the kid the one who had to overcome it, not the detectives, the sister helping in other ways. I, brilliant, brilliant guys. And thank you so very much for watching these videos. I sure appreciate doing them. And uh, thank you guys. And I will see you in our next review. Bye.